guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today what we're going to be uh, doing a showcase on is uh, this particular um, block that I have here. It's like called the uh, spreadable blocks. It's very similar to how grass uh, spreads and stuff like that and over time uh, there's a chance that it will start spreading like that or it will just uh, die off. Uh, so basically to improve performance so it's not always checking for um, things uh, like constant updates it will switch between an on state which is the larger flower here and an off state so the off state basically means that it's just dormant it's not doing anything um, another thing that you might notice in a second if it gets far enough is it will change color and um, Let's see if it actually gets to the forest here. Uh, maybe it won't. Maybe it won't. It should. There is a version that I made that will uh, change color with the. Um, depending on what biome it's in as well. So we'll cover all that today. Um, outside of that, uh, let's hop into the code and I'll explain how it all works. And then we'll come back into game and I'll show you uh, a few examples. Okay, so we only have a total of four blocks and one procedure to run everything. So let's start with the uh, sprout block. This is the main block that does the updates and stuff. Um, there's also red sprout block. Uh, that's basically the uh, red version of the uh, sprout block. And uh, there's also dormant sprout block, sp uh, sprout block which is... Um, basically the uh, one that just decides to not work anymore to improve performance. So we'll cover that in a second. So if we open up the um, sprout block, then you can see that um, we just selected the textures. There's no rotation or anything fun like that. Uh, the grass setting for hardness is 0 0.6 and the resistance is 3. Um, I have it under a grass material but uh, you can put it whatever you want and the creative inventory I just have it under building blocks um, the tick rate now this is what you're going to want to adjust the speed of the growth with uh, 20 second or 20 is one second so if you want it to uh, slow down quite a bit then you can multiply 20 by how many seconds you want and then it will increase the uh, time that it will take to spread and I didn't use or directory, um, but I did use uh, grass for the uh, map cutter. I wanted uh, plants to be able to sustain on this block, so um, basically when it updates, it will make sure that other blocks can stay on it, like flowers, grass, stuff like that. I did find a workaround, as you could see in the, the first video that the grass wasn't breaking. I'll explain that in a little bit. Um, and then for the doesn't drop itself, I have it just to drop regular dirt and only one of them. And it will be affected by silk touch because grass is affected by silk touch. And the tool able to destroy is a shovel. Uh, the creative pick item is just the default um, main block that it is. So just I just left that empty and uh, the sound on step is plant. So outside of that, that's all the settings that I've changed. Uh, particles, no particles, no inventory. Um, the only procedure is under the update tick and we'll explain, I'll explain how that all works in a second, but uh, I wanna get through blocks first. So world generation, um, you can have it generate, uh, but I don't know if you want to do that. It's more of a block that you would want to um, be very uh, cautious with when um, adding it to worlds with generation because it can uh, cause quite a bit of lag if um, it's not done properly with a shorter or a longer time delay. Uh, even though that I've been able to optimize it quite a bit with um, not having a whole bunch of grass and flowers and stuff drop, it's still doing a lot of block updates, so it's um, not sure how it would affect uh, lower end computers and stuff. It's something just to take note of though. 
And uh, finally, if we move over to the dormant one, it's pretty much the same settings. Um, yeah, pretty much all the exact same settings here. It just doesn't have the update tick. So we'll move on to the, oh, and these red ones are the exact same thing as these two here. So if we go into the update tick, then I'll explain how all this works. I'm just gonna collapse some of this stuff so it, I can do one at a time. So if we open this one, um, what, what it's basically doing here is testing if for basically error, it's testing, if it's not error, then it's testing for any type of um, actual flower. And if it's still not testing for, or if it still doesn't find that, then what it's going to do is test for a large flower. And if it still can't find that, then it's gonna test for a dandelion. And if it still can't test for that, then it's going to test for a fern. And if it still can't test for that, then it's going to test for grass. And if that doesn't run properly, then it's going to do an else statement. Uh, if it is going to find these things though, then it's going to place a spreadable block um, somewhere within a certain area. Um, but the, um, or it's going to play, yeah, it's going to be it's going to basically place a spreadable block in the current uh, the current place. Now this is just a way to um, it's already there. It's just it's placing it again just to make sure that it's actually checking for all these things. I could have done a variable and just kept increasing it, but um, that could have not potentially worked great or maybe too well or I don't know but I figured just placing down a um, the same block would probably be able to check for all that stuff so if it doesn't find it what it basically does is it's going to remove the block and uh, place I believe it's uh, just uh, regular dirt so this is basically catching for um, any block that is above the um, uh, is above the the block itself. So this is going to turn it to dirt if there's like another block above it or something. If it's not these blocks here, so that's basically that section. The other section is a little bit more complicated, uh, but once you actually see how modular it is, then it's a little bit easy to follow. So uh, the first thing that we're doing is we're testing for a 0.33 chance of um, uh, basically to run this procedure or not. Now way at the bottom, way at the bottom, it's um, going to just place a uh, dormant uh, regular block here. And if it does actually uh, if it's greater equal to or greater than um, 33 then it's going to check for all these procedures right in here so what this is going to do now is test for a 50% chance uh, equal or greater than 0 0.5 and then what it's going to do is check to see if not uh, an air block one block above and if there is a grass block um, or whatever block that you want to change uh, one block above so if that's true then it's going to place the uh, spreadable block so that's basically all that it is uh, all these other areas are basically just testing for different directions around the block in a three by three by three area so that's basically all that those are and they're all modules so you can easily edit them if you need to. So yeah, that's basically the whole procedure for that one. Uh, you already saw how it was um, updating in the world. It was just spreading and stuff like that. However, I did take it a step further and I did add uh, support for uh, biomes. So we're going to import that right now. If I go to home and then with biomes, so this is a optional one here 
And um, I'm just going to get rid of these two up here. We're going to connect that. Okay, so this is a little bit different. Um, you have your regular um, procedure. We're basically testing if the, the biome is planes, and if it's planes, then it's going to be placing down the green one. It's the same first system that uh, we used in the, um, in the other procedure, so we know how all that works. It's basically the exact same thing. Uh, the only thing that it's testing now for is if there is a biome and what kind of biome it is. And you can add L if else statements down onto the bottom and just clone this section right here and put it in there and update the, uh, the blocks, um, these blocks here, and then you can change what kind. Now if it can't find the planes, and what it's going to do is it's going to place the red version. It's going to do the exact same thing, so it's just going to test for uh, all the flowers and types of grass and stuff like that to make sure that uh, they can stay there. Now the reason for not removing the block is because if you remove the block the flowers actually drop but if you just place the block then it, they will uh, they'll stay so that's why you see that a lot of these procedures are only placing the block. So we're just going to collapse these two here and then collapse that now for this, um, it's a little bit more complicated. So I'm just going to expand one of these because the rest is pretty much the same thing. Actually exactly the same thing, just the uh, coordinates are off a little bit. So as we know, we're doing a, uh, a percent chance uh, to check for uh, these two things. If not, then what we're doing is we're going to um, just place the dormant version of it. And down here on the dormant version, it's basically testing if block is currently um, the uh, sprout block or red sprout block. If it's true, then it's going to place one of the particular uh, dormant, dormant ones just to disable the spreading. Now, if it is true though, it's going to do a 50% chance and um, check for grass in um, the location. And then if that's true, then it's going to check to see if the biome is plains. And if that's true, then what it's going to do is place the green um, sprout block. And if that's not true, then what it's going to do is place the red one. So again, if you're going to add more, more biomes, what you're gonna to need to do is add if else statements and then update these and place your new block in here. And um, yeah, you're gonna to have to do that for each entire one, but outside of that, it's not too complicated. It's all set up. You just need to uh, adjust it how you need to. And uh, yeah, that's basically the procedure for the biome one. So I'll sh demonstrate how the biome one works uh, right now, actually. So we'll just um, go back to here, save this, and then we'll hop in game. And I'll show you how it works. Okay, so we're back in game, and I'm going to place down this uh, one here. Hopefully, it will spread in the direction so that we need it. Um, so basically we placed it in the planes biome so if we go here you can see that we're in the planes biome right now over here it's uh, I believe was oh, this still planes okay so forest is way over here so we just need to kind of get it to over to the forest so it's just going to take its time it's going to spread as much as it needs to before it will eventually die out and as you can see over here that it updated the blocks to red versions. So this is where the forest is right now. So if we go over here and we can see we're in a forest and then we're in a plains over here. So um, yeah, uh, that's basically how the biome version works and um, how it basically spreads. Now if it just kind of sits like that, then it's eventually going to die out like that because there's nothing to spread to. So. Um, sometimes you don't get exactly every block, which is fine, um, but it does have uh, some difficulty uh, scaling certain blocks, like 
two locations and stuff like that. Sometimes it can um, hit natural barriers. For example, over here, if we place uh, this down, it might take a little bit of time to climb the cliff, but uh, it has sometimes difficulty getting past certain blocks like stone or other things and um, it takes quite a bit of time to uh, get up and over certain locations. As you can see it's just trying to work around that area right there. Like it could try to place a block here but it's not going to and instead it's going to try to go this way and it'll probably spread to that block there because it can. Maybe not. But yeah, there's certain natural barriers uh, that uh, it'll have problems climbing over. It'll try finding the easiest route um, to spread the blocks and stuff. So if you have like a natural mountain, this clip, like this size of a cliff or whatever, then most likely it'll just kind of skip that. But uh, hopefully you guys found this uh, video um, at least useful. I uh, learned a few things. As you can see, it, it can spread quite a bit. Um, but um, that's the way it is. Uh, you can always slow down the spawn rate and uh, just choose certain blocks like dirt instead and um, or whatever you need for your mod. Anyhow, uh, hopefully you guys uh, found this video useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.